I believe there's a huge difference in the way that successful people and unsuccessful people think. And I believe that success itself is not some big mystery that people haven't figured out before, even though when we are struggling and we're fighting and we're just trying to make it through day by day and get better and better and better, it can feel like this arduous, unknowable process, but success has been figured out. And we all know it's a mindset game. I mean, most of success is just about how we use our psychology. I remember when I was going to start my business and I, I really wanted to be good at it. You know, I was trying to become an author and a speaker and do these types of videos and do some online training for people on the topics of motivation and marketing. And you know, some, all these people were saying, well, Brendan, you, you, know, you may or may not be successful at that, You're, you know, blah, blah, blah. And I thought, it's a weird thing. It's not like there's a trait of successful people. You look across history and successful people, it's not, uh, they're not from a given background. They don't come from a specific economic stature. They're not in a position where, you know, they're, they're one demographic or another demographic. I mean, it's all over. I mean, we've got thousands of collective years of history. People succeed, some people do, some people don't. And I think it more comes down to how do we manage our mind and how do we manage our days? And I think that there's a difference between successful people and unsuccessful people in the way they particularly think about um, approaching something new. You know, I think unsuccessful people, when they have a big dream and they start thinking about what's going to be required.